Hello and welcome back. And yes, this is another Danish coin, but it is technically not a normal coin, um, although I'm going to present it as such. Uh, this is one they made um, to commemorate the change from, well, the king here to, well, let's just take a look right away, to the queen the current Queen of Denmark. So that's really what this is. Um, it does say 10 crowns here, T corner. Uh, so you could use this on the street if you wanted to. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's worth more than 10 today. Not like a lot, but more than 10. So yeah, something that they made for this occasion. But well, Let's see what it says. It has more text than normal, but for good reason. So, Frederick the Ninth, Frederick, I suppose in English, the Ninth King of Denmark, and that's really that part of it. Uh, let's see below. It says 20 April 1947, so that's when he became king. And if anyone remembers or watched my latest um, coins from Denmark, uh, one was 41, where I guess that was his dad was the king. So yes, we did switch kings in the 40s. Uh, but here we have the specific date. And he was king until the 14th of January, 1972. And I don't know my kings well enough to know if he was king until he died. I kind of think he was. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm pretty sure he died. I guess he was sick or something. So um, he died and... Oh yeah, you know. What happens, happens. And they had to find the next one, which was his daughter. So yeah. I think they actually changed... Did they change the law for her? Because he didn't have a, a son, so... It had to be a queen now. But yeah, uh, I need to study more history there. But anyways, so uh, instead of him, we got her. And uh, this is Margrethe. Um, the second, so yeah, that was one before her, whatever that was. So the second, uh, Denmark, well, basically it's another way of saying Queen of Denmark. So that is Queen there. And yeah. 1972, and it also says, Guds hjælp, uh, God's help, uh, I'm translating it very directly, so bear with me, Folkets kærlighed, love of the people, and Denmark's styrke, Denmark's strength, I honestly don't know why those things are there, but they are. I guess that's cool enough. And here, compared to the other Danish coins, it's easier to see that uh, mint mark, whatever that is. Um, an S, a heart, and a B. Uh, it could also be the engraver, I suppose, but... Either way, it does seem to appear on a lot of these coins. So yeah. And I think this one actually might be silver. Might be. Like I said, it's not really meant for normal day-to-day -day use. I think it was something you had to buy specifically. But yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.